Would each of you want a spaceship? If you join the Discord, you can have a spaceship right away. And if you super chat, I'll give you two spaceships for the price of one, which is free. So it's still free. I know. You're all extremely impressed with me. Alright, let's make a ship. Okay, so I've got, got an idea for a ship, right? So if we're gonna build a ship, we need like a bridge. Okay, so we'll, we'll build a spaceship. It's gonna be great. Alright. We'll do kind of like the Star Wars style of like wedge. God, whoever designed these was really a big fan of cheese. Oh, is that bad though? Ugh, simp. Okay, okay, we got the bridge. Everything is defended. G good, good. We we have big defense, but we need to defend further. I'm gonna put an inner wall as well because I'm very good at making terrible mistakes that end with the death of thousands or billions of people, somewhere between those two values. So we're just gonna make sure that I, you know, clean up a little bit. There we go. There we go. And another layer of shield on the inside. Oh. Look at that. So, so secure. All right, now we have to build an engine for this spaceship because obviously we can't just power it with the power of thought. Although, you know, some of you may be thoughts, but you know, come on, we can do better. Actually, that's, oh my God. And look, oh, now it's just, full of oxygen. Oh god, that is not what I wanted. I should have done liquid nitrogen completely disappear. Oh, you know what? I know how you can get rid of oxygen. Yeah. Bite me. <laughs> There's just a little bit of smoke. There is no winning. There is only pain. Okay, fantastic. So, these we will fill with... Uh, okay, how are we going to make a proper nuclear reactor here? <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned, you know. It's not every day you build a nuclear reactor. I mean, unless you're me and you're cool. All right. Oh, wait. The shielding is going to grow. I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay. It is time. <laughs> This is gonna go horribly wrong, I can- OH! Oh, it happened! It sparked itself! Very nice, and look, the steam is actually doing its job. It's okay, come on. Come on. Okay, so what we have to do is create something that'll pick up the electric charge here. Um, and that should be simple, we'll just draw a... ...line... ...from there. And from this end as well and it'll pick up the energy. Come on. And beautiful liquid nitrogen. Okay, both of those together have, yeah, yes, they are. They're actually capable of getting the temperature under a thousand at least, um, which is good. I mean, we're just trying our best here. To keep it from melting itself. I do not believe it will melt itself now. I add the water just so that once the temperature gets to, like, a low temperature, the water will be there just to give it a bit more thermal mass. Kind of as, like, a backup. I just want something for the cold to, or the heat to be put into. Actually, this is a big issue. Uh, which I could solve at this exact moment if I really wanted to. Uh, we can grab conductor and just... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we can do this. I wonder if it'll conduct behind the particles? Oh, it will! Neato! I was not aware of that. Very nice. Very cool. Okay. I do believe that we have a pretty stable plasma engine now for our ship. That is, that is so exciting. Here are digital voices. Spike, why do you ignore us? 
This is so sad. Constantly listening to you people and you still get angry. Okay, so, ah! Uh, <laughs> we have managed to, for the most part, get our ship working and our engine working. Very exciting stuff. So the question becomes, what next? I mean, a ship needs more than just a really cool engine. Let's go ahead and anchor the engine in place. Save. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we cover it in thermite. Thermite is pretty nasty. It burns extremely hot, and I think that the main thing that this ship would be damaged by is heat. Uh, I think that enough heat will cause the reactor to overload. <laughs> but there's no way to know if we don't try. Now the shield is actually protecting very well against this. Well, let's see if we can cause an overheat. All right, so the temperature of the inner ship is at 300 degrees. The temperature of the actual reactor is increasing. Thank you, Eve, for the $5. Highly appreciate it. But it looks like the, the reactor is actually staying stable, even with a massive amount of heat. Ooh, what if we cover the back? Nowhere for the exhaust to run. You see, it's it's definitely getting pretty damn warm. Um, but it's not getting warm to the point of extreme worry and concern. It's actually doing pretty... Oh! It actually broke through some of the shielding. Wow. That's impressive. Alright, so Thermite doesn't seem to be the one that's going to break the ship, so that- Very good. Very nice. Um, I think if that's not gonna do it, our next best attack is going to be using the Classic Bomb. Which, Classic Bomb is a little bit cheaty because it just destroys what it touches, but with the shield, it's- Preventing me from bombing my creation. How dare you? How dare? Okay. Ah! Ah! Damn, heat is causing the pressure to go out. So it's just flying away. Okay, I can just place it there. So, bomb attacks actually do some damage, but as you can see, the shield regrows very quickly. So even if several strikes, but that one right there actually cut through. So, oh my god, look at that. The thermite actually plugged it. <laughs> now that's funny. Oh, it clogged it up real good. That's kind of hilarious. There you go. Huh. Whoops! Oh, it's the shield. The shield is just growing. Ugh! But when it comes to the actual shielding, yeah, everything is starting to melt because of that clog. <laughs> it's at 2,000 degrees. Wow. I guess, I guess clogging the exhaust right now it's spilling out of the bottom. Look at that. Because it has nowhere to go. So it looks like the, the emergency port actually does work when it's necessary. Um, although, it's kind of melty-melty. Melty-melty. Poor Molten Titanium. Alright. Let's go ahead and reload this save just so that we can test against bombs properly. So if we hit once in one spot, it is not going to break through. If we hit twice, then it's going to break through, and that'll cause issues for the electrical connectivity. But the backup circuits are still there. So with the backup circuits in play, while it's degraded, certainly, it still works. And it looks like it's actually gotten itself back online a hundred percent after a few seconds. So that's pretty nice. 
So a bombing attack would take quite a bit to actually puncture through the ship. You'd have to hit with... Oh! Oh! We're getting close now! After you break through the shield. Now there's the second shield. So it has to break through this second shield, which is also regrowing itself. But if you manage to get through that second shield, now there's a hole in the ship. And then you have to go through a few more layers. <laughs> but eventually, if you hit there, this is the big one. Now there's going to be some damage, because if you puncture this chamber, it, you guys know what this chamber is for, of course, right? That is the cooling chamber. So with the cooling chamber lost, the temperatures will rise pretty drastically. I mean, it's still a little bit cold near here, but the heat is getting much more intense than it was before. But if we go ahead and damage it further, or even remove the liquid nitrogen, we can now see that the temperature is getting very, very high. And this area over here is attempting to cool the subcooler, but I don't think that's going to be enough. The ceramic is at 2,000 degrees now. This uh, titanium here is actually going to melt itself soon. Oh, you can actually heat, see the heat escaping. Look at that. That's really neat. <sighs> Under this kind of situation, the ship still runs, though. I mean, the back of the ship is getting very warm, but the ship itself is still functioning. I mean, punctured, sure, but it'll take a little bit more to kill it, which is going to be one more bomb if it struck the chamber like that. Now it's kind of game over, <laughs> because now there is active plasma leaking out of the ship. Although even then, it's still mostly working properly still, and because this is separated from the living quarters, I mean, sure, it's leaking super hot gas into space, but it's not the end of the world. I wonder if we could actually plug this. We drop some water on it or something. Oh god. The battle. We can. We can plug it with water and steam pressure. Yay! It's now a steamboat. Oh my god, look! That was kind of crazy. The electricity got carried across it and it formed shield. I wonder if I could actually replicate that again. I did that. Hmm, maybe a little bit. Honestly, liquid metal would probably do really well to save this at this point. But all you have to do is just build whatever across, and these shields will do their best to repair if we can actually spark it. There we go. Look at that. See? Repaired. And even though there is a pretty pretty severe damage, um, which is causing, you know, heat leakage and much more. It's still functioning. Ship is not dead. Now, if you wanted to kill the ship, uh, the more destructive bomb is definitely what would be used. It can break through shields and basically go through objects. So if we continue... I'm actually surprised how long this is lasting. Um, if we continually hit it with that, I mean... At some point, the accumulated damage is going to... Even with the chamber falling apart, it's... The damage still isn't that bad! I'm actually curious, how many could it survive? Alright, one. That was more like two. Four. Six. I mean, it certainly does damage, but considering what these bombs usually do... This is really minor damage. <laughs> Like, this stuff is nasty. To give you an example of how nasty this is with a uh, normal uh, creation. Let's just look up ship. Let me show you what happens to an unprotected ship with this kind of explosive. <laughs> yeah. Much more damage. 
stuff flying all over this. So our ship is actually pretty, pretty good. But that's going to be it for today. And next time we're going to design the interior and weapon systems on the ship. So make sure to stick around and subscribe for that. Also, don't forget, if you don't join the Discord, you are literally a weeb. Which I don't know if you're okay with it or not. But Discord dot gg slash boogvooper hey guys should people join the discord um say yes and i will pay you see everyone is so excited on spook Looper. we have an economy a stock market we, we we have a government system a senate supreme court court cases and it's all programmed by me moi like the server is literally my my like little pet project so if you want to become a millionaire and become a part of the government and you know write laws for the other people in the discord to follow build a company you should come and join us it's pretty cool i mean not joining is kind of lame i mean blah only like 10 of you joined disgusting come on we can hit at least 20. all right so thank you all for watching leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you all on the discord because you're all gonna join it peace out now i have to actually end the stream sad big sad <laughs>